Hello, I am District Judge Robinson and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about the importance of rules and the role which judges play around those rules. Often courts and the role of judges can seem a bit of a mystery and so I hope by the end of this video you will have a better understanding. Now, when I was some of your ages, I absolutely loved Lego. Truth be told, I still do. So I thought I would use some in this video. So here is your Lego judge. Keep an eye out for more Lego throughout this video and hopefully it will just help us learn a little bit about rules and courts. So before we discuss rules though, I thought I would just spend a minute talking to you about judges themselves. So for the first bit of Lego that I'm going to include, here are six individuals. Take a look at them and tell me who you think is the judge out of them. You might want to pause this video just while you have a good look at them. start with a trick question but the answer is absolutely any of them and that's because anyone can be a judge providing you've met certain training requirements such as being legally qualified for a set period of time that's usually around five years uh, but the rest is all about working hard and gaining experience of practicing law sometimes people think that you have to be a certain age or background to be a judge but that is completely untrue take me for example i'm relatively young I went to my local primary school and my local secondary school. And in fact, when I was at secondary school, I came here to this very court for a week's worth of experience to see what it was like working in a court. And I met some of the judges at that time. So judges are just normal people who are doing a particular job. And there's all sorts of jobs that exist in a court um, that, that keep things running properly. For example, ushers, clerks, solicitors and barristers and legal executives that come in and out members of the press, a whole host of people. So you don't just have to think of courts involving judges. There's a lot of people involved in the running of a court. So judges are just those normal people doing a, doing a normal job. And often that involves looking at rules, but there are a whole host of reasons why people come to court uh, beyond looking at rules. And we may do another video about those in due course. But turning back to rules for today, some rules are set by government, some are set by leaders in community. And for example, look at your school. I'm sure that one of the rules in your school might be set by your head teacher, which is not to run in corridors. And that rule, for example, would likely have been set to make sure that everyone is safe when attending and using the school. You don't want everyone bumping into each other. So there's all sorts of rules that exist. So over the next three images, I want you to have a look at them and have a think what rule do you think they are? And I apologize for my poor Lego building now, but have a look at each of them. Pause the video when it comes up. I'm gonna put the answer straight up after each one. So you need to be quick on your fingers and uh, pause the video and have a think about what rule you think it is trying to show. So I'll pop them up on the screen now. Now that you're beginning to think about rules, the first question I thought I would ask you is that in your schools or the area where you live, are there any rules that you must follow? You might want to again pause the video to have a think about it and perhaps write some of them down. Or for those of you who may be just starting school life or you may just not feel in the mood for writing today, you can draw a picture of some of those rules. So have a look at the, the space on the worksheet to do that or if you've just got some paper to do that. Thinking of those rules that you've uh, just paused and written down or drawn, why do you think they're important? And what do you think the person who set the rule was trying to achieve by it? In other words, what was its purpose and why? Again, have a pause of the video now to have a think about that. Again, the space on the worksheet. So thinking about what you've just been looking at, hopefully you will see that rules are not just made for no purpose at all. And instead, there is a real reason behind them. Often that reason might be to protect people to promote everyone living nicely uh, with one another. So it's really important we all follow rules. Breaking some rules, for example, not wearing a seatbelt in a car, could have really serious consequences. And if everyone started breaking rules they didn't like, it could lead to no one getting along with each other and local communities or schools could break down and it could really be an unpleasant and unhappy place to live. So rules are there to hopefully just manage everyone living nicely with one another. 
Sometimes people don't follow the rules. Sometimes people can break them without realizing it. And if the rules that they break are really serious, they could end up in court. And as I mentioned earlier, the court deals with all sorts of different issues and considering rules is just one part of a judge's week. So it may be a good time for me to now pause this video and just let, take you on a tour around this court, just so you can see what it is actually like in a court. Bear with me, I'm gonna pick up the camera and off we'll go. So here we are in court, and this is the view that the judge will see. This is where the judge will sit. And this is the view that the judge has across the court. So what features can you see? The area where the judge sits is called the bench. Just raised slightly up so that the judge has a good view of everything. Over there on the left are 12 seats and that's where the jury sits. The jury is made up of 12 ordinary citizens and they will listen to all the evidence that is before the court and make uh, decisions directed by the judge. Below the judge here, a really important person sits here. This is the clerk. This is the person who ensures that the court runs properly, that everyone is where they should be, everyone is sitting there. Beyond that, you'll see benches where the parties will sit. Um, often there's two opposing parties, there may be more. And they've got to sit there and they present their evidence. One sits on one side, one sits on the other side. And if there's more than one, you've got to squidge up a bit. Right at the back, behind the, that glass screen that you see there, is what's called the dock. And the dock is where, if there is someone accused of a criminal offence, um, they will be placed there so that they can hear all the evidence and across here um, you will see space uh, for the public to sit. You will then see down there a witness stand and it's really important for anyone giving evidence in a case um, to promise to tell the truth um, so that the court can have that real strength behind the evidence that what the person is saying is, is an honest belief and a judge will have to cut through um, what someone says to weigh up all the evidence to decide uh, what the outcome should be and who should perhaps be believed when there's conflicting accounts. Seats over there, the members of the press, the newspapers and television sometimes want to come and report on some cases, particularly if it involves a really important point um, of public interest or in relation to uh, matters that might change the law. I'll just give you another view just as you can have a walk around and you can see it from the other side as it were. On your worksheet, I've asked you to see if you can remember what I've just told you to label all the parts of a court. So I'll let you go and have a look at that now. Well, I have probably talked for too much now, but I hope that you found it interesting thinking about rules and the reasons behind them and just getting a, an initial understanding about what a court is like. The challenge I'm going to leave you with is this. I'd like you to design a poster outlining a rule that you think your school should have. For those of you who are a bit older, it would be great if you could write a paragraph about why you think a rule is important. And once you've done that, do send it to your teachers and they will hopefully share it and link it um, with me and my colleagues so that we can see what I'm sure is going to be some fantastic work. I do hope that once uh, the current COVID-19 pandemic is over, we'll be able to get some of you into court to have a look around and to have a chat with me face to face. But for now, thank you for listening. And um, if you've got any questions at all, do pass them up to your teachers and they can always pass them on to the court and there's lots of resources online as well uh, to help you understand about rules, laws and how courts work. Thank you very much and we will see you again.